we who are supposed to be the answer are part of the problem. We need to be part of the solution, not the problem. Us, Christians, those who are called followers of Jesus Christ, we look like everybody else when it comes to hating each other, despising one another. Even best-selling author, former pastor, and leadership podcaster, Carrie Newhoff said this, Christians aren't exempt from the trend towards anger and outrage and division online, that they are a good number of them who are actually fueling it. Man, it, he's saying that Christians are actually fueling this rage, this, this anger. And if, and if you're a Christian and you're not fueling it, are you doing anything to counteract it? Well, how do we counteract it? I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> because Paul is going to help us with the solution. Verse 17, never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Never pay back evil for evil. Never. And that's hard because we are a payback type of people, right? We're a payback type of culture. You hit me, I hit you. You bomb us, we bomb you. You cut me, I'm going to cut you. I cut you. I, got, I shank you. I won't thank you, but I shank you. How many you got a shank on right now? How many got a shank on right now? How many you got a shank? How many got a shank? I mean, that's just what we do. This is a powerful instruction by the Apostle Paul, but it really started with Jesus. Paul is using the very words of Jesus. Let's rewind a little bit because in chapter five of the letter of Matthew, who is an eyewitness to Jesus' ministry here on earth, he writes in his letter in the New Testament that Jesus arrives on the scene and delivers the Sermon on the Mount. This is the breakout message, you guys, and basically gives a lot of, I know it's been said, but I'm telling you to do this. Turning everything not upside down, which is what they thought, but turning everything right side up. <laughs> He says, I know you've heard it said, basically meaning, I know your religion tells you to do this, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, which means if someone does you wrong, you do them wrong. You get them back. And this was the Jewish law. This is actually how they practiced. Jesus says, don't get back at them. Turn the other cheek. This one. Turn the other. No one laughed at that. You get that? <laughs> cheek? You got it? <laughs> if you are slapped... Turn the other cheek. Turn, now, some of you are like, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. I was with you, Pastor, till you said that. Listen, somebody slapped me, they're going to get slapped. In fact, everybody in the room getting slapped. It's just going to be a slap. Don't you dare slap me. Don't you dare. Listen, calm down. Calm down. Not only that, he says, if someone takes your shirt, give them your coat as well. If someone tells you to carry something a mile, go two miles. This is who we're supposed to be. This is who Jesus says we are supposed to be. Paul is only restating exactly what Jesus already said, arriving on the scene and beginning his ministry. Then Paul goes on to say in verse, eight, uh, verse 18, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. <laughs> do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. And Hebrews 12, 14 actually backs it up uh, uh, when the writer writes, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy Without holiness, no one will see God. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. No one will see God unless you're holy. And what's partnering right up with holy is being people of peace. <laughs> if you want to see God, do you live in peace? Do all that you can to live in peace. Listen, French, chapter 12 that we're reading here is known as the core for Christian living. It's the core of Christian living. We should be people of peace everywhere, all the time, with everyone. And in the Sermon of the Mount, get this, Jesus said this. Jesus, Jesus, not, 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 not Pastor Jeb, not Pastor Matt, not Pastor Fred. This is what Jesus said. Blessed are those who work for peace. It's going to be work. You got to work towards peace. Blessed are those who work for peace. And, and watch this. You ready? You ready? You, you, ain't, you, you ain't ready. Get this, get this. <laughs> for they will be called children of God. Are you a child of God? Then you must be a peaceful and peace seed spreading person because that's what children of God do. 